In this video, I'm going to walk you through the hands-on challenge for use formula fields. This is the first unit in the module formulas and validations. Before I get to that, I just want to say that this for me is some of the hardest stuff uh, on the part of in the admin trail mix content. I mean, it's just, it's, it's super, my, my brain doesn't work this way. Like I'm a liberal arts major and being able to write a formula is really learning how to talk to a computer. So if you're finding yourself frustrated with this and confused, um, this is a steep hill to climb. I mean, it's just for me, it's a very, it's a very difficult area. Um, having said that, it's super important and I think it creates a huge opportunity for you. Um, I'll talk more about that in a different video though. Over here, there's lots of really great examples about how formula fields can be used. And it's really important that you spend some time getting familiar with these examples and also starting to think about like, what are some things that you might want to see or situations where you might think a formula field could be really beneficial for a business or a company. And, um, you know, you interact with businesses all the time. So just keep that in mind and start thinking about that and get your brain thinking around like, how can I use formulas to move business forward? And that will help you build your confidence, which is going to be good for you when it's time to actually start going and applying for your first job. Okay, let's get to the hands-on challenge. Create a formula field. Create a formula field that calculates the number of days remaining before a contract expires. I just want to say that like this is important because you could then run a report on this and then you could look at that report and that can... Um, you know, notify the sales team, hey, this support contract or whatever is about to expire, let's call this customer and renew. And so it's really important to know this information from like, that's like the business benefit of it. I mean, at this point, you know, I'm talking about like, okay, so maybe somebody's just looking at the report. As you get further down through the admin trail mix, you start looking at flows. Well, you could actually create a flow that would say based off of, you know, when this value gets to a certain number, kick off a task for this team to contact that customer. So you could start to automate some of those sales processes, but this is the foundation for making that happen. Okay, let's just do this now. Create a custom field. So the object is gonna be the contract object. So we do that from the object manager. And the data type is formula and the field label is days remaining. So we're going to go to fields and relationships, new formula type, next. And we're going to call it days remaining. And the type is going to be number. I'll we'll click next. Okay, and the formula has to calculate the number of days between the contract end date and today. Well, we saw an example of that, similar to that, that came up uh, in the unit. So what we're gonna do here is click on advanced formulas because that's where I like to start from. Okay, so now we've got the contract end date. We're gonna insert that. And then the operator is gonna be to subtract and the date and time we're going to pick here is today. Insert selected function. So now this field should be the end date minus today. We'll check syntax. No syntax errors. Always a good idea to enter in a description. Again, don't need to do this to pass the challenge. It's just an idea. And now we're going to go ahead and click next. Next. And save. We've created this now. It sh we should be able to go to the page layouts, the contract layout, and see this field that we just created, days remaining, um, right down here. So we've added that. Okay, let's check.